your pen pals. So, I remember I told you a couple of weekends ago that I had finished my outline. Mm. So let's talk about what happens when you send your outline or script out for notes and then you get the notes back. What do you do? Shannon E. Johnson here, CEO of The Professional Pen, where we develop screenwriters from idea to pitch. Need help with your screenplay? Go to www.theprofessionalpen.com. So after I told you guys that I finished my outline, I went back through my outline to streamline it myself to see if I could find any holes myself, to see if what I was trying to execute was being done from my point of view. Then I sent my outline to one of my story experts for notes. I received the notes back earlier this week, but told myself that I wasn't gonna be working on it until the weekend. Here is the important thing, number one, when you send your work out for notes, leave it be, leave it alone. Stop reading it. Stop working on it. Okay, I showed y'all all of my pores so that you can know how serious I am about this thing. Leave it alone. You can be making things worse. You could be changing things that didn't need to be changed. Take a step back from it because whether you get notes on it or not, whether you agree with the notes or not, whether you find the notes helpful or not, you are going to be a different human being when you read your script or your outline or whatever it is, again, after having spent some time away from it. It's going to feel differently to you. You're going to experience it differently. So give it time, put it away. The amount of people who contact us after they have submitted something. Oh, I did some more work, can I send this to you? No, I don't want that version. I want this version because you don't even know you could have moved something that was fantastic. You could have changed something that ruined it all. Just be patient and wait on your notes. So I sent my notes off however long ago. I got my notes back however long ago. I didn't start looking at those notes until yesterday. So what I do is I read the notes. I decide what's working for me and what's not working for me. And then I rewrite the notes in my own words to see if it means something different when I write it in my own words with how I interpreted it. And if then I think a note could be helpful for me, but I might have some clarifying questions, I will then get my questions together and send those questions back to my story expert. So if you're working with us, you wouldn't send your questions back to us via email. You would schedule a story jam so you can talk to your story expert about your clarifying questions. That's not a time for you to go, I didn't like this. I don't like what you said. You didn't understand it. You didn't get it. That's not what that time is for. It's unhelpful. You can say those things in the mirror first. And then when you get on the phone or when you get on Zoom, ask questions so that you can get answers and you can move on, okay? Now, what I did was I did not take my own advice because once I sent those questions off, that was my day to be working on my writing. So I needed to work on my writing. I did not wait on getting my questions answered. But what I will say is a lot of the notes might not have been notes that I totally agreed with. Some of the notes actually even though from their point of view, it may not have been working, it was what I was intentionally trying to do. So that's what the big thing is about you really understanding notes and you really understanding your own work. If you know what you're trying to do, then other people can't give you an opinion that takes you away from that, right? So even though I understood what the note was, I was intentionally doing it. That means I might not have to pay as much attention to that note as I made other notes. So I say all that to say, I rewrote the notes and went through, you know, figuring out what questions I had. And then I used my assistant, ChatGPT. And I took the notes and my thoughts on the notes and talked to ChatGPT about what's strong, what are some options, what's this and that. And again, it's not because ChatGPT is giving me the answer. They're giving answers. But it's not that they're giving me answers. They're brainstorming with me. Because just like the notes are meant to just make some creativity click and spur and go. So is my conversation with Chad GPT. It's not literal, right? And so after going through that, I actually realized that some of the notes were going to be groundbreaking for me. And I'm putting them in quotations because my notes did not signify that I needed a full rewrite. My notes signified that I needed to make some things stronger. I needed to drop a few more things here and there to make things clear. 
right? But then it also, because I didn't just reject the notes because they weren't what I wanted to hear or they weren't what I think was gonna be helpful to my screenplay. Sometimes someone else telling you how they interpreted it is the note. Because no matter what, it just means that they're seeing it differently. So how can you make it more clear on the page? So I spent more time doing that, which then sparked other ideas. And I have stuff in my script now that would not have been there if I didn't get notes. Even though I did not necessarily take every single note or even take them in the way that they were intended because the problem that they were trying to solve with the note, I didn't see as a problem because I was doing it intentionally. But because I read the note, it sparked something different that I said, hmm, I'm gonna follow that and I'm gonna see what that becomes. Now, with that being said, I spent all Saturday doing that. I was so proud of myself. I'm a workaholic and I've spent probably like the last two years trying not to be and I allowed myself to be a workaholic on Friday and Saturday and I had a ball. I'm a geek. So I wrote all day, literally. And when I finished writing, my story expert got back with me with the answers to the questions. <laughs> this is why you want to wait, right? But I intentionally didn't wait. It was my day to write. I was like, I'm going to write. But anyway, so I had already uh, sent him a message like, you know, don't worry about answering the questions. He had just sent the answers. So I went and I looked at them. And in those answers, again, some of the stuff is like, okay, that's intentional. I understand that. Okay, yeah, great. I see how you're viewing that. One of my questions was, is this clear? And his response was, no, that's all I needed to know. It's not clear. Great. How can I make it clear? But then there was another suggestion that was made. I don't remember what it is right now, but again, I wrote it down because I then took that note, rewrote it in my words, in my document, so that when I go back to it, which won't be until Monday, because that's my next day to write, I will be able to see, um, you know, follow my train of thought and see where it's going to go. But whatever note it was, I was like, oh, yo, that would, that would make a lot of things change, but possibly for the better. Maybe. And again, I say, I'm not solving the problem that he was bringing up because I didn't find it a problem for me, but it sparked something that made me go, but you, you might be, this might work. So I don't know yet if it's going to work. I got to go and I got to do the things to figure it out. So I'm just sharing this with you so, so that you can understand my process. So what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to go straight to script. I, well, actually yesterday, I already infused the notes that I was working on yesterday. So I infused them. I reread my entire outline, things that needed to be moved around, got moved around. Things that I deleted, I put in another place. Don't ever, 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 for real, for real, delete stuff. Remove it from this part of your document and put it in another part of your document because you might end up in the script and go, oh man, that would really work now. And now you don't have it, <laughs> okay? Um, so that's, that's what my process was. So now that I have this new information that might change up, change up some things, on Monday, that's what I'm gonna do during my writing hours. I am going to see what would happen if I made that change? And by see what would happen, I mean, because everything is cause and effect. If you change one thing, there's a trickle down effect in both directions. So I'm going to have to figure out how it changes things. And if that works for what I'm intending to do, no matter how cool I think it is, no matter how I'm like, oh man, that could be great. But if at the end of it, it's not doing the thing I'm intending, then it's not the thing that works for me. Okay? Okay. So if you are still out there and haven't tried outlining yet, if you haven't tried beat sheets yet, and you don't know where to start, you can start with our roadmap workbook. Okay? It takes you through the format of an outline and what should be in each act of your outline, which will eventually become your script. If you're looking for idea all the way to outline, we have a package for that that talks about character development, plot development, and the outline. If you already got your character development together, you already got your plot development together, fan freaking tastic, but you don't know how to outline and you're still kind of trying to figure it out, then just get the roadmap. Happy writing! And that's it. Want more content? Like, subscribe, and for notifications. Get notes on your script that get you unstuck at www.theprofessionalpen.com. The
I'm out.